hrabrost. Domovina. Kuća. This is Kozorac, a small town in northwest Bosnia, 25 years on from the start of the Bosnian War. This town was ethnically cleansed and destroyed by Serb forces in one of the worst European massacres since World War II. Mercia Jaskic, a post-war child born and raised in Kozorac just two months after the war, will help translate the momentous efforts made within this recovery period. This is the story of how Kozorac has been rebuilt since the mass genocide in 1992. We start at Ternopole, the concentration camp that still remains in a small village within Kozorac. With no access inside, it's still enough to remind Mercia and the returnees of the Serb forces who use this building to torture, rape and kill Bosniaks and Croats. Uh, basically, what bothers them, you know, is the cynicism that appears at all times. Because if you, you obviously have people who, who testify that they were held captive in here. Hundreds were kept in cramped conditions here in 1992, including Mercia's cousin. She's one of the few returnees and lives minutes down the road from the place that she suffered. Mercia paid her a visit to hear her chilling war tales. Amira showed Mercia the photo she had kept in her bag. Mercia helped translate the whereabouts of the survivors from Amira's school class. Uh, Switzerland, uh, she lives here, it's her sister. This is my sister, she lives in Sarajevo. Uh, she lives in Slovenia, he lives in Switzerland. She lives in Switzerland and this is her, she lives here. So basically almost everyone's abroad somewhere. While some of the diaspora only return in summer, Amira returned for good to raise a family. Danas je poznat trend kod nas da puno ljudi odlazi odavde, pogotovo porodice sa malom djecom. Ja i moj muž smo sretni ovdje, on radi, radi na građevini, ja sam kod kuće sa djecom. Imam neki hobi, ja milion i bavim se s tim i trudim se da moja djeca vole ovu zemlju i ovaj grad onako kako ja to izdobam. Whilst the children of Kozorac get sufficient help from their parents, they receive less aid for their schooling. The war made a disaster of education in northwest Bosnia, and since schools have been rebuilt, the local government have failed to intervene with helping to improve the standard. Tako da su u neoslovnim uslovima organizovali školu u prostorima mjestne zajednice, a kasnije 2001. Jasna has been a teacher in Kozorac for 17 years and has worked here since the school reopened in 2000. Da je nama škola krenula u neoslovima, znači mi smo imali prije svega cilj obrazovanje i želju da djeca idu u školu, a samim tim stvaranjem boljih uslova naravno da je kvalitetnija i nastav. Since its rebuild, the school now provides education for all ethnicities. They've taken it upon themselves to improve education standards in Kozorac and enforce a valuable post-war lesson. Kod mene u razred ne postoji netrpeljivost, mislim da ne postoji u školu apsolutno netrpeljivost, učimo ih da budu samo ljudi. With post-war Bosnia split into two entities, Kozorac falls under the Republika Srpska, those who support the norms of Serb people. But war memorials have been built by survivors in the face of this political opposition. The pressing issue now is how the local government have repelled peacebuilding between the two. Basically, when it comes to peacebuilding, people don't consider it really important. Because they, they consider it something that probably can be done and other than that why should it be done if we have peace when it like if no one's firing at you no one is actually uh, gonna somehow affect your security you're fine 
but returnees have set up peace building charities to help bring both ethnicities together. Uh, basically when I was a kid we had a program in elementary school where we had to go to this festival and we were what's it about and they just told us you're gonna have fun and basically what happened there is though I, I made some friends I even like talked to some of those friends still today but they were Serbs and it was like really weird for me because it was kind of the first encounter I had with Serb kids but no one cared actually because obviously kids don't care. Perpetrators still live on the same streets as victims, but inter-ethnic relationships are present. Mercia and Maya, a Bosniak and Serb, first met in this cafe in Kozarac. Once ethnicity is drawn apart by vengeance, they're now using what has happened as a bond. We talk about the war, but we talk about it in a sense that we uh, kind of uh, joke around about it, but not in something that would insult any of us. But actually, it's for me, it's kind of a coping mechanism. If we talk about it, it will become a part of the public discourse. And um, that public discourse will get on the level that maybe we can actually move on from what has happened in the 1990s. Slowly out of the shadow of this genocide, some people are only just returning. Maybe not all towns in Bosnia are what they once were before the war. And whilst the memories and the Serb flags still hang over Kozarac, we are finally feeling closer to home than ever before. <laughs>